This is the Music History Today podcast for August 6th. On today's show, Hamilton officially opens, Yo! MTV Raps premieres, and Chubby Checker starts a dance craze. First up, though, on this date in 1939, the Dinosaur Radio Show premiered. In 1956, the rock and roll movie Rock, Rock, Rock started filming. In 1960, Chubby Checker performed his cover version of the Hank Ballard song, The Twist, on Dick Clark's American Bandstand television show, starting a dance craze that lasted for at least a few years. In 1964, Rod Stewart, as a member of the Hoochie Coochie Men, performed on television for the first time. In 1970, the Festival for Peace concert took place at Shea Stadium in New York City. Janis Joplin, Herbie Hancock, and Paul Simon were among the performers. In 1970, same day, Christine McVie performed with Fleetwood Mac for the first time. In 1972, Procol Harum recorded the song Conquistador. In 1973, Stevie Wonder was seriously injured in an auto accident. He would recover. In 1976, the Ramones performed together for the first time. In 1988, the groundbreaking television show Yo! MTV Raps premiered in America. In 1989, a concert by N.W.A. was stopped by Detroit police before they could perform their controversial song, F the Police, on stage, and I'll let you figure out what the F stood for. In 1996, the Ramones performed for the last time. It was at a show in Hollywood, California. In 2010, the dance musical movie Step Up 3D premiered. In 2012, Forbes magazine named Jay-Z and Beyonce the highest paid celebrity couple with $78 million total made the previous year. In 2013, the group TF Boys was formed and in 2018, the group D Crunch was formed. In classical music, in 1947, Heater Villalobos' piece Bachianas Brasileiras, number eight, was premiered. In theater, in 1989, the musical O Calcutta closed on Broadway. In 1995, the revival of the musical Damn Yankees closed on Broadway. And in 2015, the musical Hamilton officially opened on Broadway after opening off Broadway six months earlier. Albums that were released in the UK on August 6th include in 1965 when the Beatles released Help. Meanwhile in America, in 1963, Johnny Cash released Ring of Fire, the best of Johnny Cash. In 1974, Barry White released Can't Get Enough. In 1982, Romeo Void released Benefactor. In 1984, Prince released Purple Rain. In 1985, Midnight Oil would release Species Deceases and known at the time as John Cougar Mellencamp, John Mellencamp, released Scarecrow. In 1990, Drama Rama released Live at the China Club. In 1991, Harem Scarum released their self-titled album, and Yes released Yes Years. In 1996, the two live crew released Shake a Little Something, Modest Mouse released Interstate 8, Peter, Paul, and Mary released Lifelines Live, and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released the soundtrack to She's the One. In 2001, The Human League released Secrets, and in 2002, Ringo Starr released The King Biscuit Flower Hour Presents Ringo and His All-Star Band. Singles that were released in the UK on August 6th include in 1965 when The Small Faces released What You Gonna Do About It, In 1966, The Birds released 5D, Fifth Dimension. In 1971, James Taylor released You've Got a Friend. In 1976, Manfred Mann's Earth Band released Blinded by the Light. In 1982, The Cars released Think It Over. In 1984, Tears for Fears released Mother's Talk. In 1988, Rod Stewart released Forever Young. And in 1990, The Human League released Heart Like a Wheel. Meanwhile, in America, in 1973, the Eagles released Outlaw Man. In 1976, ABBA released Dancing Queen. In 1977, the Little River Band released Help Is On Its Way. In 1979, Triumph released Hold On. And in 1981, the Rolling Stones released Start Me Up. 
Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 6th include entertainer Leslie Odom Jr., Eric Roberts, and Travi McCoy, both of the Gym Class Heroes, Jerry Hallowell, a.k.a. Ginger Spice of the Spice Girls, Randy DeBarge of the group DeBarge, Pat McDonald of Timbuk3, saxophonist Mike Elliott of The Foundations, Alan Holdsworth of Soft Machine, jazz musician Buddy Colette of Chico Hamilton's Quintet, guitarist Vinnie Vincent of Kiss, jazz drummer Jack Parnell, Paul Griffin of King Curtis, jazz vocalist Abby Lincoln, jazz bassist Charlie Hayden, singer Elliot Smith, rapper Almighty J, reggae singer Spice, singer Bailey May, pop artist and also manager of the Velvet Underground, Andy Warhol, rapper Jay Nanks, rapper Lil Got It, rapper Stay Solid Rocky, Jimmy Ricks of the Ravens, Judy Craig of the Chiffons, singer-songwriter Carol Pope, Reed's player Philip Todd, keyboardist Jamie Kenseth of the group Eighth Wonder, twin country music singers Patsy and Peggy Lynn, saxophonist Martin Hathaway, singer-songwriter and actor Landon Pig, singer-songwriter Nick Radigan, pianist Eagle Capstud, guitarist Roberto Baden-Powell, music producer and founder of Verve Records, Norman Granz, band leader and pianist Frank Froba, and composer Ernesto Luciona. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 6th include composer George Rao, who passed away in 1548 at the age of 59. Composer Paul Hainlein passed away in 1686 at the age of 60. Composer Heinrich Gerber passed away in 1775 at the age of 72. Composer Karl Kohart passed away in 1784 at the age of 57. Composer Joseph Freebert passed away in 1799 at the age of 74. Composer Karl Freeberth passed away in 1816 at the age of 80. Composer Antonin Wernicke passed away in 1820 at the age of 59. Composer Antonio Bruni passed away in 1821 at the age of 64. Songwriter George Frederick Root passed away in 1895 at the age of 74. Music critic Edward Hanslick passed away in 1904 at the age of 78. Composer John Henry Roberts passed away in 1924 at the age of 76. Composer and author W. H. Grattan Flood passed away in 1928 at the age of 68. Cornet player Bix Biederbeck passed away in 1931 at the age of 29. Composer Alexander Winkler passed away in 1935 at the age of 70. Composer Peter Ronnefeld passed away in 1965 at the age of 30. Composer Ingolf Dahl passed away in 1970 at the age of 56. Blues musician Memphis Minnie passed away in 1973 at the age of 76. Jazz saxophonist Gene Ammons passed away in 1974 at the age of 49. Singer Klaus Nomi passed away in 1983 at the age of 39. Singer Domenico Modugno passed away in 1994 at the age of 66. Organist and composer Andre Fleury passed away in 1995 at the age of 92. Jazz musician Nat Gonella passed away in 1998 at the age of 91. Pianist Joan Trimble passed away in 2000 at the age of 85. Harmonica player Larry Adler passed away in 2001 at the age of 87. The king of punk funk himself, Mr. Rick James, passed away from heart failure, among many other issues, in 2004 at the age of 56. Ibrahim Ferrer of the group The Buena Vista Social Club passed away in 2005 at the age of 78. 
jazz bassist Keeter Betts passed away in 2005 at the age of 77. Composer James Wilson passed away in 2005 at the age of 82. The original drummer for the Rolling Stones, Carlo Little, passed away in 2005 at the age of 66. Zolt Dadzi of the group Bikini and also Omen passed away in 2007 at the age of 38. Composer Tizo Matsumura passed away in 2007 at the age of 78. Willie DeVille of Mink DeVille passed away from cancer in 2009 at the age of 58. Guitarist Catfish Collins passed away in 2010 at the age of 66. Composer Marvin Hamlish passed away in 2012 at the age of 68. Composer Ruggiero Ricci passed away in 2012 at the age of 94. Jazz clarinet player Pete Fountain passed away in 2016 at the age of 86. Rapper Young Maisie was shot and killed in 2017 at the age of 31. Jazz musician Maurice Simon passed away in 2019 at the age of 90. Wayne Fontana of the group The Mind Benders passed away in 2020 at the age of 74. Pianist, composer, and also professor at Brandon University from 1962 to 1996, Kenneth Nichols passed away in 2021 at the age of 85. Saxophonist David Muse of the group Firefall passed away in 2022 at the age of 73. And rock violinist David Laflemme of the group It's a Beautiful Day passed away in 2023 at the age of 83. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 7th when, in 2020, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion released the extremely controversial song, WAP. (laughs) 